Hey guys, it's Talking Sports with Mike Reynolds coming to you today for today's vlog. Um, I had the pleasure of going to Henry Wise High School this past weekend to check out the DTLR, stands for Downtown Locker Room National High School Hoops Festival. A uh, very good um, tournament this weekend and everything. Has they had a lot of good uh, players there playing everything. Um, got the uh, program and the brochure. Uh, I didn't stay too long because I had another game to go to um, which featured Riders Sports Academy against uh, Mount Vernon High School. Uh, I have a um, my son's best friend, uh, Torrey Somerville, who is a uh, top uh, young prospect coming out of high school. Uh, I think Torrey's in the 10th grade now. I said I want to check him out. And they played a pretty good game and everything down there. And they won. They beat Mount Vernon High School down there in Alexandria, Virginia. But the um, the Hoops Festival, it was a very good festival. And everything, let's say, it was sponsored by Nike. And everything, uh, I got to see Bishop Magdenborough as they uh, beat St. Francis Academy out in Baltimore. And uh, Magdenborough is out of Forestville, Maryland. Pretty good game and everything. They won the game by, I think, about 20 points. Uh, Terrell Vincent had about 17 points for St. Francis. Uh, Terrell, we went to Montrose Christian last year, and he transferred to, to St. Uh, to St. Francis. I'm sorry, because uh, uh, Terrell is from Baltimore. Uh, the game of the night was uh, O'Connell versus uh, Kingston uh, from North Carolina, Kingston High School in, in North Carolina. I didn't get a chance to see that because, like I said, I went to uh, the other game with Veritas and Mount Vernon. But uh, that was a matchup between, uh, like I said, two guys that will be attending North Carolina in the future. And Roy Williams was in attendance for this game to watch his future prospects, uh, you know, play and see how they did. Uh, the last uh, Sunday, they had a Damatha versus uh, Marah, a high school from Mississippi, if that's the way I pronounce it. I'm not for certain, but um, I may be mistaken. They featured uh, number one player, LaQuentin Ross. Uh, the young guy is a very good uh, swing man, shooting guard, and I don't know how that game turned out. I didn't, like I said, make it on that Sunday and everything. But um, the question and the topic for today for the sports vlog is um, the Allen Iverson trade, uh, him and uh, Chauncey Billups. How do you guys think that that turned out so far? Uh, like I said, uh, Iverson right now uh, in the lineup for the Pistons. The Pistons are 7-8 since the trade with Iverson in the lineup. The Nuggets, on the other hand, they are 12-3 and with uh, Chauncey Billups in the lineup for them. Like I said, um, I think personally that the Denver Nuggets got the best of this deal. I think AI is more of a... Um, he can carry the team on his own. He can score 20 points when he wants to. He hasn't had a 20-point game, I think, eight straight games now. But I think he's taking over the team. Uh, Richard Hamilton scoring averages coming down. Like I said, uh, Antonio Dice will be rejoining the team soon. But I think that ultimately he needs the ball so much that he takes away from Rip. Uh, Tayshawn Prince has been playing good since he's been there. But everybody else has been playing just kind of uh, below average. But uh, Chauncey Billups, on the other hand, and the Denver Nuggets, they have been playing extremely well. Uh, Camelo Anthony is playing much, much better. Uh, even though his scoring average has come down from last year, his scoring average last year was 25.7. And it's come down right now. I think he's at 19, 20 points a game right now. But like I said, they're playing better. They're playing better de defensively. Uh, like I said, they've got more aggression. They're, you know, they're rebounding more. Camelo is actually averaging a career-high 8.2 rebounds right now. So like I said, uh, I think Chauncey Billup is more of a leader, more of a leader than Avson was anyway. I think Alfson, of course, is the better player because he's a better shooter. He can get to the hole. His jumper is a little more consistent. But uh, like I said, a uh, big shot Chauncey is making the Denver Nuggets a better team in general. Uh, like I said, uh, right now, the Denver Nuggets, I think they're at, um, I don't know what their record is right now, but um, they are pretty good right now. So like I said, they're doing pretty good. I, I messed up on my stats. I don't have all my stats with me. But uh, like I said, overall, they are pretty good. Now, I want to give a shout out to a couple of guys uh, out there that's in the sports world doing things for the uh, sports business in, in hand. A couple of my Facebook friends, uh, Ollie Stevenson from the NBA Breakdown. I'm going to give a shout out to you, Ollie. Hey, man, uh, keep it going. I'm, I'm listening and everything. So I want to give a shout out to the NBA Breakdown on Blog Talk Radio. And uh, Beyond Sports Network, uh, Jimmy Kibble, if that's the way I pronounce it, Jimmy Kibble from the uh, Beyond Sports Network. Like I said, I look those guys up. Those guys are doing big things in the sports world. Like I said, the NBA Breakdown is a good show for NBA lovers and everything. Like I said, um, this vlog will continue every day. We'll have different topics, uh, discussions, things like that. But tonight, I just wanted to know, what do you guys, who do you guys think at the better end of this trade? 
the uh, Denver Nuggets with Chauncey Billups or the Detroit Pistons with Allen Alverson. Uh, let me know uh, your comments, any suggestions for future topics, anything like that. Uh, my name is Mike Reynolds, and I am the host of Talking Sports with Mike Reynolds. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will be airing tonight uh, at 7 o'clock Mondays on Blog Talk Radio. So look me up, guys. And um, like I said, let me know how we can make this uh, vlog more better, uh, any things you want to discuss, any, any other sports you want to get into, uh, martial arts, um, MMA. Uh, we're going to do some boxing, of course. But uh, other sports that I golf, anything that you guys are interested in, tennis, anything. So let me know what you think, and I'll be waiting for your comments, and hope you guys chime in on everything. So good looking out, guys. See you later.